Hey, this is David. I know, ugly faces, yet uh, we're going to talk about what are my intros? What's going on with my intros? I'm sorry. We're going to talk about playing with the pick. If you have been struggling holding the pick like I have for a long time, I'm hoping that this video is going to help you at least enjoy the pick a little more. So grab your guitar, grab your pick. Let's talk about picks. Oh my gosh, these intros. I need to do something about that. Hey, this is David. Welcome to the channel, which is all about helping you express yourself on the guitar a little bit better. I started my guitar journey in 1994. All the players I listened to played with a pick and uh, I couldn't play with a pick. I couldn't play with a pick for the life of me. I tried. I would end up dropping it. I would end up having pain in my hands when I would try to hold the pick and try to last more than, uh, well, at that time, it was more than 10 seconds. I would feel pain right here and that was just not good. So I went through different phases and that might be you today. So this is what really has helped me. First things first, we're going to hold a small object, like a pick, for example, it could be an eraser, it could be a marble, just something you can hold in your hand comfortably, and we're going to close that. You're not gonna put too much pressure on that, just, just close it um, so that it doesn't drop, but you don't have to put too much pressure. And then we're gonna look at our index finger. We're gonna look at the joint that is closest to the fingertip. This one right here. So when you're, when you're uh, closing your fist, that creates an angle right here. We're going to extend that angle with the pick. That's going to tell us the, where the, the extension of the pick should be. So the pointy part of your pick should be an extension of that angle. See, it creates kind of like, a, a, uh, like an arrow. That's it right here. On top of it, we're going to put our thumb. Okay, that's the, the first thing that really has helped me. The important part of this is not the closed fist, which we'll get into in a second, but it's really the extension of that angle with the pick and your thumb on top. I want you to play with that a little bit. I want you to play with the, um, uh, the, the grip that you're having. We're gonna start in A minor pentatonic, something super simple, the two middle strings, where we're going to ascend our pentatonic, st uh, our pentatonic scale on the fourth string, frets five, seven, and the third string, five, seven, and then we'll bend that seven and then we're gonna reverse it. And we're gonna loop that. Okay, we can do alternate picking, down, up, down, up, down, up, or just downs, it doesn't really matter. We're playing with that grippage. I want you to try to start with kind of a loose um, grip. It's gotta be strong enough so it doesn't fall, but loose enough so that it sounds kind of smooth. And as you are going, to the third string, that's where I'm gonna really dig in. And on the bend, we're really gonna dig in. And then we, we go back to a looser grip. It might feel very uncomfortable if you're not used to holding the pick, but when you are a pick player, that's really what happens. You kind of vary all the time with the amount of grippage that you had, that you have. And that was one of my problems when I started playing with the pick. I always had the same grip, really strong. For some reason, I thought I had to really hold it uh, tight because I didn't want it to drop it. And that's what I've been doing. But really, in, in reality, that's not what happens. So play with that a little bit. If you're not a pick player, I think that will give you a feel for that. The second thing that uh, I, I think you should experiment with is these fingers. There's a lot of different ways of placing the middle ring and pinky. For years, for some reason, I thought that I needed these fingers just closed and I had a closed fist. And you can see that in my earlier videos, my fist was always really closed. Some players do that, that's fine, but the problem can be uh, developing uh, real pain in your fingers, real discomfort, and I got used to that discomfort. When I stopped doing that, I realized that, oh my gosh, I'm so much more in control of what I'm playing when I'm not that tight grip type of player. And so what I did when I realized that is try to learn how to play with these fingers extended, these three fingers extended instead of closed, extended. That created problems too. <laughs> the real problem I was having is that now in order to attack the notes, because my 
fingers were extended and touching the body of the guitar, I had to kind of uh, move my, my whole forearm in order to reach the notes that I wanted to reach. Just very uncomfortable and unnatural. And so this really is going to fix that. This is a pencil. Uh, a pen or a pencil is really going to help you. So let me show you how, how that's done. Now really quick, before I show you what to do with that pencil, I wanna tell you about the picks that I'm using in this video. These picks were sent to me by a company called Acoustic Attack. What makes these picks different is the raised edge that you will find on their surface. They come in three models. The Attack has seven raised areas. The Ambush has five. And finally, the blade has four vertical lines. They give you more definition in your attack. They change the tone a little bit. In this video, I've been using the blade pick, which is the one with the vertical stripes. The blade is designed in a way that it will enhance your sound, make you feel more connected with the instrument, but it's designed in a way that it's still going to roll off of the pick. So that allows you to keep all your techniques, such as economy picking, sweep picking, all those things are, are still very possible with the blade version, it's almost as in addition to the sound of the amp going out of your speakers, you're also getting a little bit of that acoustic feel that you might get when you are attacking the strings. Now, the other picks, in my opinion, are awesome for ambient chords. And you'll notice that the raised surface here is different. Anytime you pluck a string, the string is going to be heard multiple times because of those raised areas here. It kind of gives you the, the feel of an acoustic guitar playing. Now, of course, you could still play lead with these. However, if you get them out of the box, what I would suggest doing is actually playing with it a little bit, bending it a little bit. This will make it extremely comfortable in any situation. Don't get fooled by the name. These picks are awesome for electric guitar, and I think you're really going to like them. I'll leave the link to the website in the description of this video. Check them out. I highly recommend them. Let's continue. I'll continue with the blade, and I'll show you what to do with this. We're going to place that pencil on top of these three fingers, on top of the middle, ring, and pinky. And then we're gonna place our pick, the way I showed you, an extension of this joint right here. Place the, thing, the, the thumb on top. And we're gonna start uh, curving our hand like this. Don't close your fist, but don't extend your fingers, because if you do, you're gonna drop the pick. So that's the idea. We're gonna hold it kind of like this, and uh, the pencil is kind of holding on my curved fingers like that. Now this is going to slow you down, but I think this is the perfect position if you want to learn how to last a little bit longer with the pick. It might be a little uncomfortable at first, but it really does wonders. It, it's helped me a lot. So we're gonna go with the same exercise here. See my hands are not completely closed. I'm not doing the closed fist. If you start feeling the pencil touching the side of your index here, it means that it's too, uh, it's too closed. If the pencil drop drops, it's too open. There's a, a proper balance here. This right here has fixed all my picking problems. I know it's weird, but I promise that it has helped. And as a matter of fact, I did a, a video years ago on the channel when I just discovered this. Now it's probably eight, nine years after. Of course, I don't play with this all the time, but this has really helped me learn the proper picking uh, position. Keep in mind that this is not a consistent thing. Your hand shouldn't be static with the right position all the time. If you look at me play, I'm sometimes my, my three fingers here are a little more extended, sometimes a little more closed, and it's not something you've got to be conscious about. Your body will adapt to the situation. If you're playing fast, it'll adapt. It'll probably tend to, to close a little more. If you're playing more loosely, it'll probably open up a little bit. Don't worry about that. Those are the things that your body will do naturally. But work on this with this, that'll really help you. And five minutes, maybe every day, and then drop the pencil and just play. And last but not least, if you just can't play with a pick, no matter what you try, if this is just not resonating with you, that's okay. Some of my favorite players are not pick players. I'm thinking of Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits, for example, my favorite band of all times. No picks. 
Uh, Michael Lee Ferkins, no pick. There are so many players, awesome players, that don't have a pick. And just make music. Don't worry about it too much. But give this a try if you'd like to explore what that can do for you. Also, check out the acoustic picks. They're really good. I really like them a lot. And uh, you know what? Watch this video. This video might help you too. I'll meet you right here. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time. Pick well. Oh, that's lame.